So now let's see how we can use the highlight box inside of Adobe Captivate. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in an image right over here, something like this one, and I'm going to press open right over here. So you can see that I got an image right over here. So let me just resize this out over here so that it covers the entire thing. And let's say I want to use the highlight box in different areas now. So let's say I want it to uh, come up to a building and then it has some captions or something like that. So I'm going to go around into highlight box right over here. And that brings up this box as you can see. So I can make it like highlight box like this. So I can fill it up with a color of my choice right over here. And that area is, you can see, gets highlighted right over there. So that's how it actually seems like it. But alternatively, what I can also do is I can actually fill the outer area. But over here in the preview, it is not seen. So if I were to do a highlight like this and preview this out, let me preview the project right over here. You'll be able to see that it highlights with a box right over here, just like that. But if I were to go over here and click on fill outer area and then preview this out, uh, let me preview the project and it'll actually show up like this. You can see that the other portion of the picture is darker as you can see right over there. And I can uh, make it make this appear in different type, uh, different parts of timeline as well. So I'm just going to change out the fill color right over here onto something like blue right over here and change the opacity so uh, to around 50%. So let's see how that looks like. So I'm going to preview this out and preview the project right over here. So once I play this, you can see that this is how it actually looks like. So I have the highlight box. So let's say this is the highlight box right over here. I want to point to this building first. I'm going to press Control C and Control V. That'll actually duplicate the highlight box. I'm just going to keep one over here, Control C and Control V and keep one over here just like this. So I got three highlight boxes, as you can see. I can go over here onto image and expand this out, expand the timeline over here. And then let's say the highlight box appears in different point of time right over here. So let me just go over here and then go around to different point of time. So this is the first one right over here. This one is the second one. And I'm going to bring in the third one right over here, just like this. So I got three highlight boxes over here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in transition to this and I'm going to add in some text as well. So I'm going to add in a text caption, which is going to be on the top. So this is, uh, let's say first building. Okay, so it says first building right over here. I'm gonna select it out and change the color right over here. So I'm going to change the color. Let me just go over here onto this one, caption, change the color into white. Okay, so that's the first building right over here. So that's the first building and that's, the other one is going to be the second building. So I'm just going to go around over here, say second building right over here, just like that. So that's going to be another one. So over here, let's go around. This is the second building. So let me just keep this one out over here, the second building. This one is the second one, yes. So I'm going to uh, create another copy and I'm going to say third building right over here. So I'm going to say uh, third building just like this. All right, so this is how, this is a practical use of the highlight box itself as you can see. So now this is how it actually looks like. So let me just preview out the project and let's see how the entire slide actually looks like. So if I were to play this, you see the first building and then you see the second building in a while and third building in a while, as you can see right over there. So I'm just going to rinse out the highlight box. Let me just pull out the timeline so that it's easier for me to work. So let me just go around here and then arrange out this accordingly, as you can see. So text box one is right over here. So now what I can do is I can add in transitions onto this. So I'm just going to go around into transitions like timing. So I'm just going to go around and then uh, I'm going to add in something like this one, like this channel right over here, something like fade. So I'm just going to go to an entrance uh, right over here and then I'm going to go around with fade in. So I'm just going to select all of these right over here so that I can work around with them. So I'm going to go around to 
timing the transition fade in and out right over here just like that so all of the transition has been applied so if i were to preview this it'll be much more smoother now so let me preview out all of the projects right over here and play this out you see the first building right over there and then you see the second building right over there and then you see the third building as you can see and that is how you can utilize highlight boxes inside of adobe captivate so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe